Right now at 10, JSO asking for help with new photos after an active duty Coast Guard member was killed outside her home in Riverside. They say a man and vehicle were in the area when the woman was shot early yesterday morning. It's a case that really has rocked the Riverside community, and the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is now offering an enhanced reward for helping make an arrest. Tonight, we're hearing from the victim's friends and neighbors. News for Jacks reporter Renee Beninati joining us live in Riverside. Renee? Now, this is the driveway where the neighbors tell me the 27-year-old died, most likely on her way to work. They told me she was an active member of the Coast Guard assigned to a specialized helicopter interdiction unit. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office looking for this man they believe may be connected to a murder on Myra Street in Riverside. Several neighbors confirming to News 4 Jax, the woman who died was 27-year-old Caroline Chalert. JSO says a woman was confronting a man breaking into a car outside her home when he shot and killed her. She was on the phone with 911 dispatch at the time. A neighbor tells me she woke up to this. Bring us back to that morning when this happened. What did you hear and see? Well, normally I get up at 6 o'clock, my alarm goes off. So at 20 minutes to 6, what woke me up was the sound of gunshots. News 4 Jacks learning Shalair was an active duty member of the U.S. Coast Guard assigned to the Hitron unit. Hitron stands for Helicopter Interdiction Tactical Squadron and is a specialized unit of the Coast Guard that handles drug interdictions. I mean, this lady was serving her country. She was doing good and, you know, to have her life taken away like that so quickly, I mean, that's what really makes me sad. Members of her unit showing solidarity and spreading this image on social media in her memory. The U.S. Coast Guard issuing a statement saying they are deeply saddened by the loss of a member of the Coast Guard family and we offer our deepest condolences to their family and those impacted by the tragedy. The sheriff's office is looking for the man captured in this surveillance video. He should have just ran off. You know, the, uh, the fact that it happened was senseless. I mean, everybody's definitely shook up. JSO is the lead agency handling this investigation. The Coast Guard tells me they are offering their help. Now, if you have any information about this crime, call Crime Stoppers tonight. The reward is $9,000. Reporting live from Riverside, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station.